Nebraska. Hello, this is Daniel Dolphin with Dolphin Horsemanship and I'm here with Coda today. We're going to show you how to properly halter your horse and properly tie the knot on a rope halter. So the first thing that I like to do whenever I catch my horse, I always approach the, halt, the shoulder, not the head, and I want to basically come up to them and do just like so. Put my arm around their neck. For my horses, as you can see with Coda there, if I put my hand on their neck and just a little pressure, they're going to curl around me and then they'll be ready to put their nose in the halter. So I don't want to be haltering a horse way up here. I kind of want them to, to come to my level. Now likewise, this is about exactly where I want him, about where my shoulder height is. Um, I wouldn't want him putting his head way down there. If he were to do that, then I'd put my knee under there and, and pick his head up. Okay, you want to walk around here, babe? <clears throat> the knot that we use to properly tie our halter is a very common knot. With horses, it would be the exact same knot we've used to put the lead rope on down here. It is called a sheet bend. This would be a double sheet bend with simply another loop. So, um, and I, I wouldn't generally see his head's away from me. I would generally not allow him to do that, but, but for the sake of the camera, we're going to do it that way. Today. So I'm going to just come through my loop. First thing I want to do is just kind of pick up on that knot under the jaw, lift it up, and that's what's going to take the slock out of my halter so that it fits properly. Then I want to come behind the loop so I never go above this portion and back through. This way, if my horse were to do something to pull tight on the halter, I can eas easily push that loop up and get my halter loose. You will see people commonly tying it like so, above the loop, and this is incorrect. All right, we don't ever want to see that. So again, the knot is called a sheet bin. You're going to simply go through your loop, around behind and, and up toward the horse's ear, and then back through. That way, this is going to be pointing toward the back. If you were to do the same knot but the reverse, you'd wind up with this tail kind of flapping up here near his eye and his ear. So, all right. That's Daniel Dolphin with Dolphin Horsemanship, and that's how to properly put a halter on your horse and properly tie the knot on a rope halter. Thank you much.